Hey, what's up guys? In the last video we created a simple main menu. In this video we are gonna take a different approach to it and we are gonna make this more layered in-game version of it as you can see on the screen. So obviously we are gonna first need a level for that. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for a video on my channel where I talk about how to create levels and different ways of creating them. Me, I'm just gonna use this gothic temple asset map that I have from Unreal Engine Marketplace because I just think it will look nice for the main menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the edit and into the project settings like last time. And then in the maps and modes, I'm just going to, instead of the main menu level that we used last time, I'm going to select and I'm going to select the Gothic temple like this. And we can close the project settings. Then we need a camera that we are going to possess. So I'm going to, in the place actor, search for camera actor. And I'm going to drag this one and I'm going to drag it into the level. Then I'm gonna need to find good place for our main menus and I think this altar looks really nice so I'm just gonna take the camera and I rotate it like this and as you can see in the right corner down here we already have a preview of what the camera sees so I think this will look like a nice shot because on the left side we can have the main menu then with the camera selected we're gonna search for auto and under auto player activation we want to auto activate for a player and I'm just gonna select player zero which will work for any single player game then what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna change our widget of the main menu so i'm gonna go into the main menu into the designer like so and then i'm gonna take this whole image and i'm just gonna scale it back to, more to the left like this i'm gonna change the opacity to let's say 0.5 just so that we have a bit of darker corner and we can see the buttons more easily I'm gonna get the, these buttons, select both of them and drag them to the left as well, like so. Okay, now we need to just activate it in the level blueprint like we did last time. So I'm gonna go into the Gothic temple, open level blueprint up here. Then we are gonna search for event begin play. Then from event begin play, we are gonna drag and search for create widget. And we are gonna drag from a return value and search for add to viewport like this and we're gonna right click and search for get player controller from the return value we're gonna drag and search for set mouse cursor set show mouse cursor right here and we want to check it because we need to see our mouse of course and then drag from the return value again and search for input ui only like this and we can also just plug the return value from the create widget into the widget to focus because that's the widget that we want to click on when we are in the main menu and now as you can see we possess the camera that we placed in the level and uh, like i said you can just change where you want to place your camera do all sorts of stuff with that and we also have the menu here on the left side obviously you can design it however you want if i press quit game it quits the game so we have the functionality and if I press the play the game, as you can see, it still launches the level that we set up the last time. So if you don't know how to do that, just make sure to check out the last video before this one. So I hope you found this helpful. Thanks a lot for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, all that. And see you in the next one. Bye.